Well, we saw it in 2008, 2009, 2010, and starting tomorrow. Twilight fans will again flock to the theaters to see the latest installment of the movie saga, Breaking Dawn, Part 1. Going to a midnight movie opening can be a lot of fun, but it can also wreak havoc on your body. Consumer advocate Jen Strathman is at the Cobblestone Theater in Sheffield Village with more on what you can do to make it through the movie and the next day at work. Jen. Who thought we'd be giving you tips for going to the movies, but these people are going to be coming out here in just a few hours to see the latest segment of this movie. And one thing that kept coming up when we talked to doctors is to stay hydrated. So make sure you grab that bottle of water when you prepare for a long night at the theater. Thousands of moviegoers will pack theaters tomorrow for the midnight release of the Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn, Part 1. If you're one of them, try to nap before you head to the theater. Sleep is cumulative, and once you've lost sleep, catching up on sleep is very difficult. Dr. Leanne Crispin Kawam, Program Director of Family Medicine at Metro Health Medical Center, says most people should also try to get as much sleep after you get home from the movie, even if you have to get up early. For most people, Getting those two hours of sleep is going to be valuable. As for trying to stay awake, doctors say caffeine is not the way to go. I think this movie is going to be very stimulating. I think the caffeine will be more stimulating. So if you take those two things and then you get home and you try to go to sleep, you're going to miss the whole rest of your night's sleep. And what if you get hungry at the theater? Well, avoid those sugary snacks and drinks, and yes, even the popcorn. Candy, high sugar, high fat, not so great. It's going to it, you're going to get a big spike of energy followed by a big down. Instead, try water and peanuts. And for energy the next day, try things with vitamin B, healthy proteins, and healthy fats. Things like um, healthy nuts, almonds, walnuts, those kinds of foods, as well as dried fruits. And if you really need that extra pick me up, you have options other than Coke or coffee. Oregano and thyme are actually herbs that are known to kind of stimulate without being stimulants per se. Oregano and thyme. Those are definitely new ones for me. Some people are going to be raiding the spice cabinet tonight. Now there's no lines out here yet, but they are expected later on. So even if you do have a ticket, you might want to come out a little bit early if you want to get the best seat in the house. On your side, Jen Strathman, News Channel 5.